So today I was looking through my makeup drawer and I saw a couple products and I thought to myself, why don't I hear anyone talk about these? So today is gonna be a full face of underrated beauty products. The first product I wanna talk about today is a moisturizer that has been featured on my channel many, many times, but I just don't hear enough people talk about it, and it's the Tarte Baba Bomb. This is $39, and it has the most rich, beautiful texture if you have dry or dehydrated skin. I love that one pump pumps out exactly the amount of product that you need for your face. It is very dewy, it's thick, it's rich, it's the kind of product that makes you look like you just got a facial. I'm gonna rub it in on my hands because it's so good. It's the kind of moisturizer that I just think anyone should try if you have sensitive skin, dehydrated skin, dry skin. It is just a miracle moisturizer. It's fragrance and essential oil free and this moisturizer has actually gotten John to really start sticking to a skincare routine. He loves this and his skin looks so much better since he started wearing it. The website says it has Babasu, which nourishes, moisturizes, and soothes. It has avocado oil and it's known for skin soothing and moisturizing properties. It also has green tea, which is a super powerful antioxidant and it helps neutralize free radicals, boost hydration, and helps fight signs of sun damage. It also has plant collagen, vegan collagen formulated from ginseng, that helps hydrate the skin and boost firmness. It's just the best nighttime moisturizer for me. So I alternate between this and the Youth to the People one to one polypeptide cream. Those are my two favorites. And then I follow up the Glossier After Balm. And if my skin is sensitized, I just use the Tatcha Serum and Cream Treatment. But all of those products, while they're like my holy grail moisturizers, I feel like those get hyped a lot, but not enough people are talking about this, man. You've gotta try it. Sephora also sells a mini size. I think it's only maybe 10, $12. So you can try this before you buy the full size. If you have dry or dehydrated or sensitive skin, it's an absolute must. The next underrated product is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. This is my most worn product in place of foundation, so I just dot this all over my face, just in the areas where I think I need to even my tone a little bit or cover any blemishes. I have the shade Light 40N. They have 30 shades in this range and it's only $9. What I love about this is that it has a natural finish. So it's not dewy, it's not matte. I'm wearing it all over my face today and it just looks like skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. Light 40N is the perfect match for me. I don't have any on my neck and I'm not wearing bronzer today. So you can see there's absolutely no demarcation of foundation. It claims to be full coverage. Coverage. I don't agree with that. I think it's a medium coverage concealer, which is why I don't use it under my eyes. I prefer the next product I'm gonna talk about. If I could pick one product in this entire video that I think is the best and the most underrated product by far, it would be the Fit Glow Concealer. It's what I'm wearing under my eyes today and it is my most repurchased makeup item and it is my most used concealer of all time. You can only get them in North America right now and their prices are really high because their products are loaded with plant actives. And so their whole brand approach has always been skincare first, makeup second. It's like skincare with mineral pigments. So all the ingredients that are in their eye cream are also in the concealer. And the website says a skin Skin treatment full coverage concealer that goes beyond just camouflaging problematic skin by working in harmony with your skin to improve its look and condition. I'll put a little picture of the shade range here. I think there are 18 shades. I love that it's really evenly balanced. I think they did a great job. It's $42, but it is 100% worth the price. I would pay more for this, it's that good. So I'll describe the texture of this. First of all, fragrance essential oil free. This is full coverage and you only need a little boop under your eyes, nothing more than that. It's thick and it's tacky so that it stays in place. When you put coverage on your under eyes, it's not the kind of concealer that's super lightweight and thin and just all of a sudden you blend out all of your coverage and then you're left with like concealer all over your face but you need more coverage in the area that you wanted it. This is tacky and thick for a reason. It just kind of lays down coverage and provides the perfect blend of hydration and bounciness and this blurring quality while also being very long lasting. When I'm wearing this concealer, it's always the best my under eyes have looked. 
It's also um, antibacterial, so you can use it on blemishes, and that's a really great way to use it. I do get questions from people asking how they can sample this because unfortunately, Fit Glow does not allow returns. And obviously, it's kind of tricky to buy a concealer that's $42 and not be able to return it. There's a website called Integrity Botanicals, and they allow for three free samples with each purchase. So you could buy like a $7 chapstick on their site, and then you can get like a few samples of the Fit Glow concealer. So you can test a bunch of different shades. That's how I found my perfect shade, which is C2.5. And if I weren't a YouTuber, I would only own this concealer. The only reason I test others is so that I can provide options on my YouTube channel for more accessible and more affordable alternatives. But if I weren't a YouTuber, this would be it. Moving on to eyeshadows, I picked the Bodyography Glitter Pigments for this, and today I'm wearing the shade Off The Hook, which I'll show you in the application footage. It's very taupey, but it's almost a slightly warm taupe, which is really nice, really wearable. It's the kind of formula that just works beautifully with your fingers. It is glittery as the name suggests, but it's not so chunky glittery that you can't use it as a one and done. I'm using it as a one and done shadow all over my lids, kind of up to the brow bone today, and I think it looks really nice. Obviously the packaging is hard if you do have long nails or fake nails because you kind of got to get your finger in there a little bit. It works much better with a finger. But I just love these. I think that they're so similar to the Hourglass Scattered Lights formula, although that is a little bit chunkier of a glitter. So if you thought that was too chunky, go for the Bodyography Glitter Pigments. I know that you can get them on Amazon, but you can also get them on the Bodyography site. These come in a ton of different colors. I see a lot of influencers talk about these on Instagram, but I don't really see Bodyography talked about enough as a brand beyond the glitter pigments. Yeah, they're just one of my favorites. I picked two hair products from one brand that just deserves so much more hype and it's the brand Verb that you can get on Sephora. I have just been obsessed with the Verb texture spray. It's their light hold, weightless, volume dry texture spray. What I love about Verb is their products are barely scented and the prices are great. This is only $20 and it's almost as good as the Oribe dry texture spray, which is like $46, I think. And I just love that it has the lightest, slightly beachy, also slightly kind of like hairspray -y kind of scent, you know, that those texture sprays have, but it's really just like a very tiny hint of a beachy scent, which I love. So it's not gonna interact with your perfume or any other scents that you're wearing. I already have a ton of this in my hair right now, so I can't really show you a before and after, but just take my word for it. It's a beautiful lightweight texture spray. I would say it's a little bit more stiff than the Oribe. I still think the Oribe is the best formula out there, but that is obviously a very hyped up product. And this one just deserves more attention for the light fragrance, the $20 price point, the fact that it's a really nice lightweight, but still a effective volume texture spray. It's amazing. And same thing goes for the Verb Ghost hairspray. The lightest scent, barely noticeable. Just a nice soft kind of medium hold finish. It's the kind of hairspray that's not gonna make it like crunchy, but it's also not gonna just like let your curls fall out in 10 minutes. It's a beautiful middle of the road hairspray I just think everyone would love. Verb needs more love, they do. They're a great company. Let's talk about the lip combo I'm wearing right now, which is a combination of Fit Glow and Bodyography products. Fit Glow makes the most underrated lip liners. I feel like this is the year of lip liners. Everybody's launched lip liners. As you know, Tower 28 just came out with them. Makeup Forever has a fantastic line. Why aren't you talking about Fit Glow? These are like if you took the Makeup Forever multi-use liners and made them a little bit more creamy and a little bit more waxy so that they're more comfortable, more blendable, and they last longer. So I'm gonna do one shade on each side of my lips. The one I've been wearing in this video is the shade Buff. Also, they come with a little smudger brush, which is amazing. Watch how beautiful these are to overline the lips. They're just so creamy, but they still have that waxiness like the Charlotte Tilbury has so that they're long lasting and they stay. And Buff is just this perfect muted rosy mauve. So that's the shade Buff. And now I'm gonna show you the shade Nude, which is a little bit more brown, less pink. So there you go, Buff and Nude. Beautiful texture, it just, is so comfortable when you go like this. It feels creamy on the lips, unlike, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury to me is a little bit too waxy. The MAC pencils are way too drying. I just think that if you're looking for a creamy, long-lasting, comfortable lip liner, ugh, I just love Fit Glow. 
Oh, and I forgot to mention, you can always use my code Kate20 for 20% off Fitglow. It's not an affiliate code. I don't earn any money from it. So if you do want to help me out a little bit, you can click my affiliate link in the description box below before making a purchase. That's how I earn a little bit of commission here, but mostly my links are just there for you to use and I don't earn any money from them. Unsurprisingly, I have a lot of lip products in this video. <laughs> the lipstick I was wearing in the beginning of this video is Bodyography Elizabeth. I just think this is so underrated. If you watched my favorites and fails video, you will have seen this. If you watched my lip collection video, you will have seen this. It smells fruity. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a nostalgic fruity candy scent. But the Bodyography lipsticks are really interesting because they are so stiff and so waxy. And what that means is that translates to something that is so long lasting, but very comfortable. So. Let me show you what it looks like. It's kind of like a satin finish. See how like stiff and waxy? But look how easy it is to kind of overline the lips with that kind of formula. It actually reminds me of the Fit Glow lip liners, but in lipstick form, which is really interesting. You know me, I do not like to wear bold lips. I do not like to wear opaque lip products. I am like always a sheer, sheer lip, lip gloss kind of girl. But Bodyography has single-handedly changed that for me. I've been wearing bold lips nonstop because of Bodyography. I'm just like, who am I? Because of their formulas, I've never felt more confident in a bold lipstick. It's just, it's just creamy. Like when I rub my lips together like that, but it's waxy. So I know it's not going outside my lip lines. It's not going anywhere on my teeth. It's just gonna stay like this for a really long time. And it just, it's just, I don't even have words for it. It's that perfect. It's like a lip liner and a lipstick in one. I just, I can't get over them. I honestly need to go look at more shades because wow, blown away. The lipstick that I wore in my browsing trend mood video is from their fabric texture line, and this is the shade Chiffon. Oh, watch this. What fall dreams are made of. Matte finish, kind of like that creamy, like powder matte kind of texture. Bodyography has turned me into a lipstick girl. I'm packing to go away actually today for 10 days in the Bay Area and then LA for doctor's appointments. And the first thing I put in my collection were these Bodyography lipsticks. Like normally it's just like liquid lip balms and lip glosses, but now I'm excited to put on like an opaque lip every day when I do my makeup. And I just feel like with these kind of satin matte textures, my lips actually look bigger than when I wear my lip glosses and my liquid lip balms. I have a hair and I don't know where it's coming from. It's been driving me crazy this whole video. <sighs> okay, where was I? Yeah, it's just one of those like really creamy, but very matte kind of powder textures. No scent to this one. Oh, I just absolutely love them. Love them. Bodyography, man. Fit Glow and Bodyography are basically like the winners of this video, for sure. And if you wanna see me apply every single lip product in my collection, including all of the ones I have from Fit Glow and Bodyography, click the link above to watch that video. It was probably my favorite I've ever filmed. I'm gonna do two more lips and then take a break and then go back to lips. A brand in general that has been blowing my mind is this brand Runway Rogue. You know, their packaging is like not my vibe aesthetically. Apparently they're supposed to be based off of makeup from the 90s. This was founded by Patricia Hartman, who I believe was a supermodel in the 90s. And you guys, <laughs> the formulas are crazy good. Like I have not heard one person at all, not one person talk about this. Watch this. Okay, so this is their lipstick, first of all. Nice, subtle vanilla scent. I love that. This is the shade Front Row. Watch how epic this brown is for fall. Glides right on. The Bodyography ones, the regular formula, are a little bit waxier, so they like stick. Whereas the Runway Rogue lipstick formula is definitely a lot creamier, but both equally pigmented. Is this not the fall lipstick of your dreams? Like, I feel like it works on me, a cool toned girl with fair to light skin. I feel like this could work on you if you have deeper skin. I just think, oh, it's amazing. Honestly, fuck it. I'm gonna buy another one. I'm gonna go to their website. Like, this feels so good, so creamy, but it doesn't feel like it's sliding around. You guys need to know about these. I'm telling you. So after Runway Rogue sent me an initial PR package where I had their lip liners, uh, their lip gloss, and that one lipstick, I fell in love with their lip gloss formula, but I didn't really love the shades they sent. I'll leave on the screen above where I tried on all of their products, but I love the lip gloss formula so much. It kept sticking with my mind. Like two months later after that video, I kept thinking like, man, does Runway Rogue have any non-frosty glosses? And let me tell you, they do. And this is my absolute perfect shade. They describe this as clear with a hint of red. And I was like, yep, take my money. All right, we're doing that. And it's amazing. It smells, again, like all of the other Runway Rogue products, which is like a cake batter vanilla. Yeah, you know, typical Dofit applicator. 
a kind of pinky candy apple red tint. It doesn't really go with the colors that I'm wearing right now, but if you want just like a sheer wash of a red and you want something really comfortable, this is it. This is what I wanted the Fenty Cherry Treat lip oil to be, but that ended up being actually clear. And this knocks my In Beauty Lip Glaze and Candy Apple out of the spot, because that's obviously a much thinner lip formula as it's a lip oil. This is like a lip gloss meets a liquid lip balm. So there's this balminess, it's comfortable, it's nourishing, it lasts a decent amount of time because it has that grip, but it's not thick, it's not sticky. I mean, Runway Rogue, Patricia Hartman, hats off to you, great job. Moving on to blush, I feel like most of the blush products I have are pretty hyped as it is, but I really don't see anyone talk about the blush I'm wearing today, which is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur. Now, this was just a little point perk that I got at Sephora. In like some of my recent videos, all I've been talking about recently is this formula in the shade Blurred Buff. It's this beautiful kind of warm tan shade, but this is Mauve Sunrise, and I just think it's like the perfect pink. Actually, I need to apply a little bit extra. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and buff it on my cheeks. It's not really a mauve. I'd actually describe this as a warm pink. So, you know, don't be afraid if you don't want a mauve blush. That kind of implies always like a little gray or purple to me. But you can see there, what I love about it, it's that kind of bouncy texture. Um, so it is basically the skin-like quality of a cream, but the easy application and the longevity of a powder. That's why I love those cream powder hybrids. You know I love it. It's just such a stunning formula. I just think it's so flattering. It's not dewy, it's not matte. It just looks like skin. I'm terrified these are gonna be discontinued because they're always out of stock on Sephora. So I don't know, maybe just try to get them while you can because they're one of the best blushes I have ever tried. And this shade and Blurred Buff Chef's kiss. You guys, the Coolfee eyeliners are crazy good. Today I'm wearing the shade Purply Pataka just on my upper waterline. I wanted to add just like a hint of plumminess to it. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Let me swatch the shades. So we have Purply Pataka, which is a gorgeous plum. Tiger Queen is that orangey terracotta. And then the brown one is Cheeky Chiku. I have no idea why these don't have great reviews on Sephora. People have said that the tip crumbles off and that they're not long lasting. I've had the complete opposite experience. These are like the creamiest liner I've ever tried. Yeah, I love that they just have a tiny little point on a retractable pen. These, these are so easy to use that in like some of my recent videos, I've just been able to do a full wing while holding a heavy mirror and not even stress about it because they're so creamy. They're so blendable. They're incredibly pigmented. I love that these are so thin and I much prefer a retractable pencil than something I have to sharpen. They're totally budge proof. I've been wearing the purpley Pataka shade on my upper waterline. Zero transfer, zero smudging. I mean, how good are these shades for fall? Brown, terracotta, and plum, like absolutely. I, I love them, I love them. Coolfi is just blowing me away. I really feel like more people need to try the brand. Okay, I only got these in the mail yesterday and I instantly fell in love with them. They're the new glosses from Live Tinted and I have a little card for you to read. So it said, these universally flattering glosses hydrate and nourish lips while adding a beautiful non-sticky reflective glow. The ultra plush doe foot applicator was designed to deliver optimal color payoff while catering to the curve of your lips. And I have the shades Proud and Brave, which I believe are the only two shades. This is a literal liquid lip balm. It's not a gloss, it's a liquid lip balm. Love the big applicator with that little dent in the middle. It's just like a butter. Oh, it's so good. I've seen people get these in PR and I have not heard anyone talk about it. I haven't seen anyone apply them. They're so good. Unscented, totally don't smell like anything. So this is the shade Proud, which is a kind of soft rosy beige. And then I will insert a clip here that I filmed earlier of the lip tinted gloss in the shade Brave. They describe it as a warm spice. So yeah, it's like a little bit brown with a little bit of a hint of berry in there as well. It is so comfortable, nourishing, but it's still lightweight, like it's not sticky. There isn't even a ton of grip to it. It's just a little bit thicker. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I love these. I hope they come out with more shades. Great job, Lip Tinted. Mascara that I think is underrated is my favorite mascara of all time, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara in Washable Black. I think the color I'm wearing is Blackest Black. Um, just get the regular pink tube. Don't get the waterproof 
The regular pink tube is a tubing formula. It just comes right off with water. It holds a curl well. It's not quite as like voluminous and like intense as the Thrive mascara, but I actually like the way that this looks. Sometimes the Thrive builds up too much on me and then I'm like, ah, I got lashes. But obviously this one is affordable. You can get it at Ulta. It just rinses right off, doesn't irritate my eyes, doesn't flake, doesn't smudge. I'm obsessed. If I could only pick one lip liner to use for the rest of my life, it would be hard, but I think it might be the Citizen Cosmetics Lip Stroke in Duh. And in order to explain it, I need to show you. It's so incredibly creamy. It's not waxy at all. It's just creamy. It's my perfect kind of like taupey nude shade. And it just is the best for overlining. Like, look what I can do. I just like completely transformed my lips with this lip liner. Obviously this is exaggerating it a little bit more than I would do in person, but it really does look natural. And it's this like creamy consistency. You can overline it because it's so creamy and so pigmented, but it feels really comfortable. Like if you go like that, super comfortable. Unfortunately, I really don't like the other shades that they have. It's like, this is the lightest shade, I think. And then there's like a bright red, bright berry. There's like, really, really warm kind of orangey browns. It's not, a, they don't have any other colors that I would personally use, but if you have darker skin or warmer skin, I think there are a ton of different shades that would work for you. This formula though of the lip stroke is just the most flattering I've ever tried. I just think it is like the lip liner formula that everyone keeps trying to create, but they haven't quite nailed yet. This is the one. One more lip product, I swear. Honestly, if I could be a lip gloss, if I could create my own brand and create a lip gloss formula, it would be exactly this. It would be the Gwen Stefani or the Give Bubble Pop Electric Gloss. And this is a shade all my love. It's absolutely incredible. I'll put a little application footage here of my lip collection video so that then I can just apply this right over my lip liner. As you can see, it's this gorgeous combination of a berry meets a pinky red. So it's that flushed lip look of my dreams. It's like my favorite color. It has a high shine finish. It is like a liquid lip balm meets a gloss. It almost coats the lips in the same way the Charlotte Tilbury Happy Kiss does, but in a liquid formula. It smells like vanilla frosting quite intensely, so you do have to like it. I just think it's me in a gloss. So let me show you over the lip liner. Yeah, I just feel like my lips look so much bigger than they usually look because of these products. I can't stop wearing this. I've just been applying this several times a day, even when I'm not wearing makeup because I love it so much. The only sad thing is that the shade range is weird. It's, it's very Gwen Stefani, I will say that. Like, it's all very, 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 very light shades. The shade range sucks. I've basically been like harassing them on Instagram to create like some browns, some beiges, some reds, like give us something more because we love this gloss. I don't really say things like you need this. Uh, so I'm not gonna say you need to go out and get it. But if you are looking for a gloss that is my favorite formula I've ever tried, I would give this one a shot. We have the Beauty Pie Triple Luminizing Wand. Pretty sure this is just the same thing as the Charlotte Tilbury like spotlight highlighter. It also comes with that little sponge tip and I'm wearing it on the high points of my face today and it just adds a kind of glossy, high shined finish. I did add a little bit of powder because sometimes it's a little too intense for me, but if you want that kind of like glossy skin, reflective skin look, this is absolutely incredible. So if you have a Beauty Pie membership, this is a fantastic, really affordable option. And if you don't, you can always use my code, uh, Kate sent me for $10 off your order. That's it, that is all of my most underrated makeup. I really hope that my passion and enthusiasm came through. What products are you most interested in? Let me know in the comment section below. Or what is your most underrated makeup? What do you think I need to try that you think really aligns with my preferences and I just gotta get my hands on it? If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.